Older people are some of the big winners in the 2017 budget with major changes to property rules. Young people will be able to put $30,000 tax-free towards their first home. Pensioners who downsize can invest up to $300,000 from the sale of their home into super without being taxed. On the other hand, the big end of town is being targeted with banks slugged more than $6 billion with a new levy. The Medicare rebate will go up half a percent to pay for the NDIS. And as expected, schools get an extra $18.6 billion over the next decade and there are billions for roads and rail in WA. In Western Australia, we're investing $1.6 billion in Commonwealth funds and infrastructure, including funding for better road access to the Fiona Stanley Hospital precinct. Many remain frustrated at not getting ahead. This is especially true in areas where technological change, globalisation and the end of the mining investment boom has had a significant impact. Yeah. Tonight, I also announce we will legislate to guarantee Medicare and the PBS with a Medicare Guarantee Bill. All right, let's bring in financial planner David Sharp now. David, you've been going through the promises and the numbers. What impact will changes to the Medicare levy have on Perth families, firstly? Yeah, well, the big change for the budget certainly is this increase in the Medicare levy to 2.5%. Um, and we, that's going to come in from 2019. It's going to hit the average uh, wage earner by about $400 a year. And it's going to raise the government about $3.5 billion per annum. Um, and that's what's going to help fund the NDIS from 2019 onwards. David, major changes to super to help home buyers as well. How does that work and what impact will it have? Yeah, so from uh, July 2017, so in a, a couple of months, uh, first home buyers can make uh, voluntary con contributions to superannuation, uh, up to 15000 per annum, 30000 in total. Um, and if you're, the two of you are buying, you can do it each, um, but you can't withdraw the money until 2018. It's a bit of a catch there. What about people moving into retirement? Yeah, so one of the big issues around um, housing affordability is these downsizes, people holding on to their homes. So what the government's allowing um, is for those who've held their home for 10 years to s contribute $300,000 into super. Now, typically those over the age of 65 have some restrictions, um, but they're abolishing those. If you've sold your home and downsized, uh, $300,000 each can go into super and get tax-free earnings. David Sharp, appreciate your insights. Thank you. No problems.